Hey guys, it's Shannon Heed here. How is everyone doing today? Uh, for this video, we are going to be tackling the question of can you save Tom on Halo 1? So, if you don't remember who Tom is, uh, he is the guy at the very beginning of the mission, the Pillar of Autumn. Uh, he's the one that first greets you when your cryopod opens up. This guy right here. Um, he's basically the guy that gives you, you know, the tutorials, your shield tests, your aiming tests, all that. But unfortunately, um, after all your tests are done for the tutorial part, uh, if you'll see that uh, Sam up there comes under attack, which we've determined he can't be saved. And then Tom here was going to take you to the bridge to meet Captain Keys, and he tells you to follow him. But unfortunately, when he comes over here, boom, the door explodes and he dies. And, um, you know, I know a lot of people try to save him over the years that Halo 1 has been out. People have used mods to like take over him and control him and try to like, you know, steer him away from there. But no matter what, he always dies. Like even the even Halo PD and the Halo Wiki all say he can't be saved. Well, that's not good enough for me. So, obviously this has to be done on PC because, um, you know, a lot of people have tried for many years and uh, they've tried to use mods and we're going to continue using that. Uh, and the mod I'm going to use for this, uh, just very simple mods I've used in the past. Um, Specifically, I'm going to be using uh, console cheats in uh, Halo, namely uh, Bump Possession, and another one later. But Bump Possession lets me take over any uh, AI just by bumping into them. And I'm going to, you know, this is what people have done in the past, uh, except for this little part. They try to take him away, but he still dies anyways. Instead, I'm going to keep running over here, all the way to here. And as you can see, the explosion still happened, and I'm still alive. So... I haven't seen like all the experiments in the past, but um, right now I've pretty much survived. If you don't come here fast enough though, you will automatically die. Um, so you have to like run as fast as you can to get to this door. And you can't go underneath though, because if you crouch, you can't move and you get stuck under the door. So is that it? No. Because while I have saved him, he won't die anymore from that uh, scripted explosion event. You can't go any further. And you can't finish the mission either this way. And if you try to go back for Master Chief, you'll hit that loading point again where um, you script the, uh, the death of him. And even if you're playing as him, you will automatically die. And I tried another thing to save him. I tried using the freeze time here. Uh, and what freeze time does is it well, freezes time, but I can still move around. and he won't die from scripted events this way. And I figured, you know, if I freeze time, I go all the way here and I take over Master Chief again so I can try to finish the mission, uh, see what happens. Well, unfortunately, if I do this and I take him over, once I unfreeze time, he still dies, like, pretty quickly. And, you know, a lot of this has been covered in the past from previous attempts, and people have given up and declared him impossible to save. But... Like I said, that is not good enough for me. So using another uh, console command, the uh, Chimera Teleport Cheat. Um, right now I'm playing as him again. Uh, we're back at this checkpoint. I'm going to teleport him past the door here while still playing as him, as playing as Tom. So I had to get the coordinates down before I could do all this. But anyway, so I've teleported past the door, and we're, we are on the other side now. And... Well, to finish the mission, we do need to play as Master Chief, and I'll explain why later. Why you can't just finish the mission as a Marine. Um, there, there's a few obvious theories, but... Um, so right now, I'm playing as the other uh, one, and... As you can see, he's still alive and well. Still not dying from that scripted explosion. And that's because we were fast enough to get past the... Uh, my guess is like there's some kind of like range, like a kill range, where if you're within... If he is... If Tom is within that kill range, he will automatically die, but as, as soon as you get him past it, before that, that scripted event happens, then he'll survive. But like I said, our goal is to save him and be able to finish the mission. Otherwise, we're stuck there and, you know, pretty much doomed to die. So, I'm just going to leave him with the other person there. Um, hopefully, he'll look at, they'll look after each other. And right now, I'm just going to teleport this guy um, back to the other side of the door, and we're going to go back and get Master Chief. Hopefully, if we leave Tom here, he'll survive and you know because I think he's past the kill range so yeah let's uh there we go we're past the door now and 
Let's just uh, make our way back. Now this Marine won't die, fortunately, because he's not scripted to die from anything. So all I need to do is go back and just bump into Master Chief. And let's uh, quickly run back and see how Tom is doing. If he has been saved, for sure. So just make our way through here. And nope, Tom still died. Uh, looks like he's pretty much scripted to die as soon as you hit a certain like loading point back there. Or not loading a trigger point. Or maybe this guy killed him. He looks really fishy. Look at that stare of his, that blank stare. Very fishy. He's got like bodies all around him. I think he killed Tom actually. Yeah, I don't trust him. <laughs> but anyways, um, you may also be asking, what if we just use Tom to, you know, finish the mission and I told you you need Master Chief and the reason is that because with Tom once you hit the loading point here the game tries to despawn him and we get stuck and we can't move or anything we're just stuck here and we can't finish the mission so that is why you can't just bring him to the end of the mission so is it over then is he really unsavable like everybody says nope we are not done I am not giving up so I am playing as the other Marine again here, leaving Tom back there with that other fishy Marine, uh, marine or crew member, I guess, is the official term for them. But yeah, I'm going to teleport back to the other side now. And... Oh, actually, no, I'm not teleporting to the other side. I'm going to teleport directly to where Master Chief is now, skipping all those loading points. Let's see if skipping all those loading points, or not loading points, the trigger points, will um, keep Tom alive. So... Back at Master Chief now. Let's take him over. But I'm not going to run outside. I'm actually going to teleport back to Tom now. <laughs> going back and forth. And if this works, I just want to mention that this does take quite a lot of bit of modding. So it is not you know, possible to do without modding. But you know, it's not like crazy modding where we're like changing the script or anything. So it, um, yeah. But as you can see, we teleported back, and Tom is still alive. We've done it. All those people who tried in the past were wrong. We have successfully saved Tom using the same mods that people have tried in the past. Took quite a few steps and a lot of back and forth teleporting. Uh, and, you know, used up a couple of trainers and console commands. But we have successfully saved him. He is alive and well here. Did not die from the explosion at all. There you go. Tom has been saved. And now we can finish the mission just fine, knowing that we have successfully saved Tom. But yeah, so there you go, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this and found it to be interesting, because we have saved yet another person that's normally scripted to die. But yeah, so if you did enjoy this, make sure to leave a like uh, and leave your thoughts in the comments. If there's anyone else or anything else I'm going to try to save or, you know, and just anything in general, you, in general you want me to look into, just let me know and I'll do my best to get around to it. But other than that, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys!